Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Coyules Nation. My name is Secret Agent Nick Snow Coyules. I'm the founder and the director of the Coyules Industry Spy Network and the Coyules Nation. In last week's video, I basically tutored your way through a lengthy and complicated process into installing a Seto Corsa and modding it using Linux and open source software. This week, I will be showing you the results of the labor, which may take about 20 minutes or so. I don't know how long exactly it takes, but however long it takes, this should give you the ability to play pretty much anything. And I'm just gonna be using the standard client for now. Uh, for example, I will grab the KTM Crossbow R, and we have this yellow, yellow number seven, we'll do that. I will be going through a few tracks with the Crossbow, as this seems to be a pretty good automobile that I can use. Uh, let's first start with Spa, uh, that being Spa Francochamps, which is one of the best racetracks in the Seto Corsa. I will be starting it up and I will be using a controller for this. Yes, there is controller support for Assetto Corsa, but what's the point if you need something like actual sim racing gear? Essentially, there will be a link in the description that will show exactly what sim racing gear is viable for Linux and whatnot. I'll put it on the left-hand side here. Now, we are here at Spa. This is with the... KTM Crossbow. And again, this is if you followed everything. This is without the content manager, so if you decided to go without the content manager, then you would be just fine. This is with all of the DLC on version 5.0-10 of Proton. And it actually works quite well. It does work as expected, albeit um, if you decide to mod the game, do not, and I mean do not, get the Sol shaders. Just use the custom shaders patch and that's it. Yeah, obviously I'm quite garbage at um, cornering, but otherwise, just trying to follow the racing lines a bit closely. I just don't know when to brake properly and also when the throttle blip. Throttle blipping is not my forte. I'm actually used to the automatic throttle blipping, but I decided to turn that off uh, because, you know, why would you want that on anyway? But otherwise, this is exactly as you would expect instead of course of the play. I'll just use Content Manager to uh, install the mods from like a file, the zip files for the mods that I already have, and I have a few of them. I will be playing on one of the modded tracks uh, shortly here, but I'll do I think a couple laps on stuff like Spa and a couple of modded tracks. I will be also going through uh, Monza. I'll go through Monza, Spa, and I think one of the American tracks. I'll probably do like Watkins Glen. But yeah, it is just as you expected it. But if everything is done right, yeah. That corner usually messes me up right there. But luckily, yeah. Now let's try to do a clean lap. It took me three minutes and 21 seconds. That's fine. I'll take that. I am actually sim racing using a controller with automatic transmission because I can't really do manual very well. You probably could have been able to see that in something like Gran Turismo 4. And I played that on the channel. I think it's actually been a few months since I've actually played it. I tried to do the retextured mod and I tried to do the remastered mod 
but sadly, um, due to how big the files are, it's just a mess on my computer. It's 26 gigabytes compressed into like, I think five, four or five gigabytes. So I won't be able to do that mod, but at least I can do some of the changes that I made using the PNOC files or just the cheat files, if anything. With the GT3 like camera, the chase cam, a couple others. But I may not really need that for stuff like uh, Assetto Corsa, which is pretty realistic for the most part. It's not a big, big deal, but that's just me. in Apex. Pretty good, pretty good. No cuts detected, so we're good. Don't get me wrong, I actually quite like the crossbow. Fails just fine to use on a controller, so... There's that. Ooh, little drifties. Little drifties. Alright, I'll take that. Don't mind me. Slow down here. Messed it up a little bit, got a little stutter. Eh, not a big deal. This game, with some some of the settings, will take about, oh, how long will it take? Now I'll just slow down. And I think I'll just park it right here, without any issues. I will head into the next track. I will be right back with you in just a minute. All right, we are headed to Monza. This is a 2008 Crossbow R that I am driving. I will be driving one of the other modded cars as well, because uh, I did get a few of them. But we're going to be doing this um, here. This is the, I think the 2020 Monza layout. There's also a 1966 Monza layout, but I decided not to go for that one today because that would take a bit too long. And I'll just do the standard Monza as you see here. But otherwise, just your regularly normal Assetto Corsa plug. I mean, this is a beauty to handle. And on Linux, it is super good. It may perform better than Windows if the correct uh, tweaks are made to the Proton and whatnot. There should be like a specified version of Proton made for a set of course so you don't have to um, pretty much do anything. Just uh, load it up and get right in there. Oh yeah, that corner got me. That corner got me. That did not treat me very well. I did have to cut through a bit, but there was no way I was able to slow down there. You'll see this DRS stuff. This is essentially a um, Formula One track, and Spa is also another Formula One track. It is used in the Belgian Grand Prix. Oh, that got me. That got me, that got me. Little bit, little bit. But I drive out of it just fine. I will take that, actually. What corner are we looking at here? Right corner? I think it's a right hand turn. I 
I can't tell with that the way. I don't know how I was able to survive that. I was expecting to be completely wrecked, but I survived, however. Don't know how. There are the banners for um, Kuno Similazoni. Kuno Similazoni is the developer also behind... Um, they are also behind a subtle course of Competizioni. Competizioni is more competitive and it actually works better on Linux. I was a complete idiot thinking that <laughs> the original uh, was gold. It was actually silver because it required a lot of tinkering. Oh, that got me. That got me. Yeah, I'm not good at Monzo, so I'll definitely have to learn that a bit. I'm not going to get the driving line. I want to learn my style of driving while closely... Well, I, I'm just loosely following the driving line, but otherwise, yeah, I'm doing my own driving style here. I do use automatic transmission. I am pretty much a wuss in that regard. Only because I'm actually not good at uh, stick shift or paddle shift or whatever, so... There's that for you. I think it's a right hand turn. Or left. This would actually be good with um, an F1 car. Luckily, I used the Ferrari F2004 for their Formula One. Is it uh, left hand or right hand? I think it's a right hand turn. Yeah, I gotta remember. I don't know why they put that on both sides. That is strange. I uh, get thrown off by that, but oh well. I'm just gonna go inside the pit if I don't even... Yeah, I could definitely do that. And you can also pit. I will demonstrate the... pit thing there. At the fuel, also have the tire pressure set right. But that's going to do for me. I will change a couple more things and I'll be right back with you in just a minute. All right, so here we have is a quick tuned Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. This is an Evo 8 uh, tuned version. You can probably see that right there. But anyway, we are at Road Atlanta, I decided to forego Watkins Glen for now. I'll probably do Watkins Glen as its own separate video and do a lap on that. But otherwise, I'll do Road Atlanta. This is the 2018 layout. In Forza 4, I'm used to the 2010 layout for Road Atlanta. This is one of the modded tracks, and the automobile I'm using is also modded as well. Okay. That corner got me. Yes. Jeez, is that something? There we go. Okay, that corner just fine. I need to learn this layout because this is quite different from the 2009-2010 layout that I'm used to. In like, the four of the four days and I'm drifting, I'm drifting and I go off the grass. Eesh. Yeah, I kinda suck, as you can see. I kinda suck at Assetto Corsa, so... Yeah. if I do pretty well with this part. Oh, no, 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 no. And I'm through. Oh, and I cut through right there. 
Man, do I suck. This is one of the modded tracks, as I have said before. This kind of looks absolutely beautiful for a, a racing sim of this nature. Now, done right, you could also use some pretty good shaders, but sadly, the shaders that I had, uh, I was using soul shaders, because I was going to try and use A3PP. Yeah, no way that was going to work. Good on that front. Whoa, drifties. Yeah, I'm drifting. I think this is a four-wheel drive automobile, if I'm not mistaken. Although, it's treating me like it's a two-wheel drive, or I think rear drive. Most likely rear drive. I'm not entirely sure. For the most part, I'm doing pretty good. Oh, no. Oh, and my tail hits the grass, and that's a penalty right there. I've been on count. Forget you, game. I'm just new to learning this, alright? Jeez Louise, game. Always have to be so freaking harsh. So good. And I'll just cut through, I don't care. But you get the idea. I just have to learn these, but this is essentially the result after you do everything for Linux that you need. At a 152, but live doesn't count. I'll just, I'm not gonna knock that missile and sign. Okay. Well, I will be right back to end it in just a moment. And that will be it for today's video on Assetto Corsa. If you like this episode and want to see more like this in the future, you can do this one of five ways. You can hit the like button to show your support to the Koyos Nation, and hit the subscribe button to become a member of the Koyos Nation, alongside hitting the bell icon to be notified when new episodes arrive every Thursday afternoon at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can also comment on all of our videos, all videos are open for comment, and last but not least, you can share this channel with your family and friends, and get more people into gaming on Linux. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, I am out of time for today's video. Thank you, and good night.